There's absolutely no reason you have to come out to people if you're not ready or don't want to. Of course, if you do want and or have plans to come out, you may want some help in taking that first step. I'm SJ Lyon, and this is The Sex Talk. I want to reiterate that coming out is totally optional. If a family member, friend, or partner is pressuring you in any way to come out, politely remind them that it's your decision. All right, say you have decided to come out. You may be nervous or excited. You may have no idea about how to even start. You may know exactly how you want to execute your grand coming out party. You may be a mishmash of all of these things. Whatever the case, here are a few handy steps and tips when it comes to coming out. Perhaps one of the number one things you can do when coming out is to be patient. Be patient with yourself and with others. You're allowed to take whatever time you need to come out. It may take days, weeks, months, or even years after you decide that you want to come out to actually do it. Your friends and family members may need time to process your news. It helps to start small. What I mean by that is that it's a good idea to start with someone you have a good idea will be supportive and accepting. If you aren't completely sure about how someone will react, you may try talking to them about LGBTQ plus issues and gauging their thoughts and feelings. If there is no one in your life you feel comfortable taking that first step with, you can always try starting with a support group. Now, another important facet of coming out is to expect surprises. It can certainly be a terrible blow when someone you thought was going to support and accept you doesn't. Understand that most prejudice is based on ignorance and lack of personal experience. Biases are developed fairly early in life and stick around because they aren't challenged. This is where that patience has to come in. Patience and communication will be incredibly important for any friends or family members who have some bias. If something they say is hurtful or untrue, let them know. To work to undo prejudice and intolerance is always a good opportunity. Even one person can foster change that ripples out in the long run. Plus, people with bias are often much more likely to start to shift their perception when their bias is hurting someone they care about. Sometimes the surprise you encounter is a nice one. Plenty of times people have come out cautiously to a parent, family member, or friend only to be told that that person already knew and was totally down with it. Unfortunately, you may find that some family and friends are, are simply incapable or unwilling to shift their views. If someone insists on saying cruel or ignorant things, you owe it to yourself to separate from that person. All the more so if someone becomes or threatens to be physically violent. This is another reason why it's important to start small. You may be so excited to share your realization with the world that you want to scream it from the heavens. That is an absolutely wonderful thing, but make sure to put your safety as a top priority. Coming out isn't something you usually have to do just once in your life. Coming out is a lifelong, constant process. Anytime you meet new people and enter into new situations in life, you'll have to make decisions about coming out. If you have come out to people and feel wonderful for it, remember that that doesn't mean you can start pulling other people out of the closet. You can talk to any friends or family members you think might be or know are queer about how great you feel and how coming out has been so beneficial to you. You can show them that you'll be there for them if and when they do decide to come out. I'm SJ Lyon, and this has been the Sex Talk on Coming Out. If you liked this video, be sure to check out my Instagram and Patreon. You can contribute as little as a dollar a month through my Patreon to help me keep all this going. Also, I'm going to be starting up a new series in January where I listen to songs you request and talk about the awful meaning of the lyrics if you actually listen to them. Until next time, stay safe everyone.